Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are gonna do an Ellie Bono Lash Lift Reversal. And I'm actually gonna use the Ellie Plex Profusion System, just to show y'all. So some reasons you might choose to use the Profusion System over one shot for your reversal or your relaxation might be just because it's a little more gentle. It does work at that slower time. Um, but it is more gentle as far as processing the lashes. So maybe if a client has over-processed lashes and you're trying to correct that with a reversal, this could be your go-to system. So let me adjust my camera. And as always, if y'all have any questions as we're going, just let me know. All right, so I have Brittany here as my model. She has had a lash lift, it's been a few weeks ago, but we're gonna go ahead and reverse it just so I can show y'all how it works. Let me make sure I have her in frame. I'm gonna adjust this slightly. All right, perfect. So with the reversal, it's actually really simple. I know it's a little nerve wracking if you've never done one before. Um, you're gonna apply it very similarly to how we do in the lash lift or lash lamination. So no big deal there. And you're actually gonna see the lashes relax right in front of your eyes. So you'll know when you need to remove. So the first thing I like to do is apply the under eye pads, the gel pads from Alibana. And I do this just to protect her skin underneath so she doesn't get any lotion on the skin. So Brittany, I'm gonna have you go ahead and open for me. And you could also do a reversal on the bottom lashes if needed. Um, I know some instances where you might need to do that. Go ahead and close. Could be maybe if their bottom lashes somehow slipped out of the eye pads when you were doing a lash lift and the lotion came in contact with them and you didn't realize it. Sometimes it could cause the bottom lashes to stick straight out. If we were doing a bottom lash reversal, I would basically just have her close her eyes, or I'm sorry, keep her eyes open the entire time um, and do it that way. Now at this point, we've already cleansed Brittany's lashes of any makeup residue. So she is set to go. And so what I have to begin with is just my um, lash lamination lotion and then I'm gonna use a Wonder Wand today. You could also do an application just with the regular application brush, a mascara wand, whatever you prefer. I'm gonna dispense it into my mixing dish here, just like this. All right, and then what I wanna do is just really liberally apply it to Brittany's lashes. And of course, we still wanna to try to avoid the skin, but I am applying it all the way to the tips in a reversal and making sure they're evenly coated. And what you wanna do is essentially kind of pull the lashes straight out so you can see that lash lift relaxing and you're just gonna brush on them until they pull out. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. This typically only takes one to two minutes before you begin to see results. And while you're applying the lamination lotion in this uh, reversal method, you only wanna leave it on a max of five minutes. So five minutes of the lamination lotion when we're straightening it out. Any more than that, we could over-process the lashes. So you can see I'm just pulling the hair straight. and I can see her lashes straightening out right in front of my eyes. So essentially what's happening is this lamination lotion is going to stretch the lashes out, pull them straight, and as soon as I see the result that I'm looking for, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the lotion and then go over it with a damp cotton round. 
So that looks really great to me. Her lashes are nice and straight again, back to their natural curve. And you could remove the lotion with Q-tips. You can do micro swabs, whatever you prefer. And then I'm just gonna go over it with a damp cotton round. So I'm making sure I'm completely removing that lamination lotion. And this is just plain water. Go right on the lashes. And then I'm gonna go into using my setting lotion. So you do still need to set the lashes when doing a reversal, and that essentially is just gonna lock them in place. It's going to strengthen those protein bonds back because our laminating lotion, or if you're using the one-shot system, the lifting lotion, breaks down those protein bonds so we can rearrange them into the shape we're looking for. So our setting lotion is just building them back and locking them into place. So I'm gonna do the same thing here. Now in the setting lotion step, you only wanna leave it on a max of three minutes. So this step's gonna be even quicker. And you're gonna to wanna to time this one. Since the lashes are already straightened, you're not going to see any kind of difference. Again, we're just setting them in place where we want them. But I am going all the way from root to tip, avoiding the skin. because sometimes we might need to um, target the tips of the lashes if we're doing a reversal. We might be doing a reversal because the tips are kind of kinked or bent or crossed in different directions and we don't want them. So that is an important step. And I'm gonna let each eye process um, on Brittany here, she really just needs about a minute and a half or so. We don't need the full three minutes because her lashes aren't being stubborn. They're going into place nicely, pretty easily. If I had someone who had more stubborn lashes, maybe they didn't want to relax, or maybe you're doing this treatment on someone who has naturally kinky or curly lashes, you could leave this on again for up to three minutes and then you would probably need the lamination lotion, the step one lotion on for more like five minutes. Brittany's are being very manageable so we don't have to worry about that today. Now once I have finished my um, laminating and setting lotion, they're nice and straight again, I do want to make sure I do the Eliplex region. And I could have mixed it in with my setting lotion. That is an option with our new region next gen. But what I wanna do since I'm doing a reversal is I'm actually gonna use this as a standalone treatment just so I can get the maximum efficiency and the maximum result out of it. You can leave region on for three to five minutes. So I'm probably gonna shoot to leave her region treatment on for about three minutes to give her all the nourishment back in her lashes possible. All right, and then I'm just gonna begin to remove this setting lotion. Make sure I'm not getting it in her eyes or trying to avoid her skin. I'm going to go ahead and remove her eye pads because I'm going to do a full rinse just like we would at the end of a lash lift or lash lamination. And her lashes look really great. They're nice and healthy. All right, 
doing. And so I'm gonna have Brittany turn her head to the right slightly. I'm gonna use my kidney basin here to give her eye a nice thorough rinse. So I just have some cotton four by fours. I'm squeezing out some excess water. I'm gonna do a full eye rinse on her right here. And this is just to ensure that all that setting lotion and lamination lotion is completely removed from her eye area. Good. And then you can go over it with a dry four by four, dry cotton rounds. All right, and I'm gonna have you turn your head to the other side for me, Brittany. I'm gonna use my other clean four by four in here. Do the same method on this side. And this is just very gentle. I'm not scrubbing or applying a ton of pressure when I do that. All right, perfect. And so now she is ready to apply some region. So with the region, it's just a very small amount. I'm actually just gonna squeeze a little bit right here on my mixing dish. I have a doe foot applicator or disposable lip gloss applicator and I'm just gonna apply it directly to Brittany's lashes. And again, I'm gonna leave this on as a standalone treatment for about three minutes. The region, you do wanna apply all the way from root to tip, still avoiding the skin. And then when I remove, I'll use some dry Q-tips to remove and do a thorough rinse. Now, if you are doing a reversal for any kind of over-processing or maybe the lashes didn't get lifted quite as nicely as you would have liked them to, and so you're doing it to correct something, I would definitely recommend have your client using the Eliflex Aftercare at home just to really strengthen the lashes. This is a chemical treatment, so it's not ideal to do a ton of reversals or lifts, laminations for that matter. In a six week time frame. you kinda wanna try to space them out six weeks, but reversals are needed sometimes. So if we are performing that chemical treatment on their eyes, we wanna make sure that they're on that Eliplex aftercare at home just to really strengthen their lashes or brows for that matter if you're doing it on the brows. All right, so while Brittany's processing, just going to take a look, make sure you guys don't have any questions for me. All right, hi Kelly. Perfect. Okay, and if you do have questions, make sure to leave them down here in the comments. I'll check back later if you're watching this at a later time and go over any questions you may have. So Brittany's still processing right now. Gonna leave this on just a couple more minutes. And then again, I'm just gonna remove it with some dry Q-tips and do a full eye rinse. Everything fill okay, Brittany? Mm-hmm. Perfect. All right, so I just have some dry Q-tips here, kind of sandwiching the lashes in between them to remove that excess region. You may notice a lot of it is absorbed into the lashes. They really kind of just drink that up, which is a good thing. Finished. 
All right, Brittany, so tilt your head to the right for me. to the left. All right, and then you can have your client go ahead and open. And her lashes look great. They're back in their natural direction and everything looks perfect. All right, so if y'all have any questions for me, feel free to leave them in the comments. Clarissa says, what about brow lamination? Could you relax a brow lamination if it was needed? Yeah, absolutely. Um, and with the brow lamination, you're essentially gonna use the same methods that you do to laminate. So with that lamination lotion, you're just stretching those brow hairs out. Same thing if you're relaxing it. They're not gonna go quite back to their natural state, so this would be more like a corrective technique if the brows didn't sit quite like you wanted them to or if they overprocessed. And then with the brows, because they are pretty fragile, I would definitely um, recommend leaving the region on the maximum amount of time and putting them on that Eliplex serum, but it's essentially the same technique. We're just stretching those hairs back out and relaxing them to how we want them to be with the Profusion system. Um, and remember, you can't use the one-shot system on brows. Now, if we were doing a um, reversal with the one-shot system, we would do that exactly the same way as we just did it on the lashes. So, no differences there. It's going to be the same exact thing. Hope that was helpful. Perfect. Okay, just check in for more questions. But if you guys need anything else, leave them in the comments, and I'll be sure to answer them. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend.